Good morning, friends. Today is Wednesday, June the 2nd, and today's workout is an heavy day from CrossFit.com. Five singles of strict press, then five triples of push press, then five by five of push jerks. So here's how it works. We do the first repetition of strict press, we arrest the time we need, we do the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Once we are done with the strict press, we move to the push presses. And once we are done with the push presses, we move to the push jerks. Let's now take a look at our three different groups. Upper body athletes, for today's adaptation, I'm gonna use the CrossFit Linchpin limited equipment option. So the workout becomes five rounds, each round for reps of five dumbbell strict presses into six dumbbell push presses into max effort of dumbbell push jerks. We rest two minutes and we do this for five rounds. Of course, there's no need to go unbroken, but if you rest, just take a little bit of rest, not too much. Trust me, I did this workout several times. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Lower body athletes and seated athletes, today's version for you is the same. At the end of this part, I will tell you why. So the workout becomes five by five of strict dips. You can use rings, you can use two bars, you can also add some weight if you want. Once we are done with the dips, we move to five triples of strict press. Seated athletes, you will perform the strict press from a seated position. Then, five singles of bench press. Lower body athletes, here's why we decided to give you this adaptation today. We know that in the lower impairment category, there are different grades. But if we think about an athlete who has an amputation and so a prosthesis, it may not be so safe to bend the knees and maybe to jump and land with the push jerks. So here's why we decided to give you this version today. But if you feel comfortable doing the push press and the push jerk, go ahead. I would like to tell you something more. There are athletes, lower body athletes, who has a very limited ankle dorsiflexion, no amputation, just a limited ankle dorsiflexion, maybe due to a car accident, okay? So what I suggest today for you is that you attack the prescribed version, but with a stagger stance. What does it mean? It means that your impaired side, so your impaired leg, will stay slightly forward if compared to your unimpaired side. And this will help a lot your mobility. I really wanted to give you this uh, information about today's choice because uh, we don't want to just give you the fish, we want to teach you how to fish. So we're done for today. I hope you liked uh, this video and uh, talk to you next Wednesday. Bye.